Have you ever heard about the Iron Man? I'm not talking about the Avengers that flies, shoot, and punches. What I'm talking about is a multi-sport event where one needs to swim four kilometers and then bike 180 kilometers and finally run a full marathon, which is 42 kilometers. And any person who accomplishes that race would be entitled of being called the Iron Man. Sounds daunting, right? Ladies and gentlemen, friends, it was August 2, 2015, when I bravely put my foot forward to participate in that event in the Philippines. But I joined only half. That's two kilometers swim, 90 kilometers bike, and 21 kilometers run. Shorter, but the happiness and the glory would probably be the same in accomplishing that event. I was really excited because I have a t-shirt. Swim, bike, run. I put it in Facebook. I said, getting ready for the race. I was so proud of myself and bragging to everyone, I'm the participant. At 6.30 in the morning, together with 2,500 athletes from different walks of life in different parts of the world, the race began as we swam from the shore. Despite the fear of swimming in the sea, I swam relaxed. Because I was thinking that I still have to bike and to run. I didn't really even notice that time is running because I know I'm going somewhere. Thanks to my GPS watch, I was able to calculate speed, time, and distance. And before I knew it, I was so close to the finish line. <laughs> I thought things are going to be easy, but I was wrong because I was unable to anticipate an important event of that month. It was a full moon. For those who are present during their high school days, the moon actually affects the movement of the tides due to its gravity. The tide went up and the current pushed us away from the shore. I tried swimming and then we were pushed. The problem is, I don't know what's really going on it was too late for me to realize because a number of participants were all trapped like me. We were like net being captured. Oh my God, this is not really the best way to die. I still have dreams. I want to have kids. I want to speak in TED. <laughs> I used all the strength I have to get away from that fiasco. And surprisingly, I survived. The shoreline was probably the most beautiful that I've ever seen. That's what you say after a near-death experience, right? But I need to immediately proceed to the bike. I took it and started pedaling. Whew, yeah, I'm unstoppable, no one can beat me. And then I felt something strange. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got so drained. I was unable to cope up to the speed required to finish a bike race. I was like a crazy man trying to convince myself, what's wrong with you, Rodel? Push! But it did not happen. It was 90 kilometers of total disaster. Heat, exhaustion, dehydration, cramps. I got all of them. But I made it to the finish line in the bike race. Unfortunately, a group of marshals stopped me and told me that 
I was 10 minutes late to the bike cutoff. I failed. I got disqualified. Was there a time in your life when you try something and then you fail? Yeah, everyone fails. But what if you tried again and failed? Would you try doing the third one? That was my second Iron Man, my second failure. This is like me trying to convince myself, you can do it, but no! I was so guilty thinking what I could have done wrong. Was it because of the full moon? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the full moon's fault. But 95% of the people finished the race. There was so much hurt in my heart, feeling that a part of me was taken away. Pride, ego, the embarrassment was all to myself, as my friends were very supportive and didn't make me hurtful. In fact, one of them even tried boosting my morale, saying, what's your problem, Rodel? You finished a number of marathons and even accomplished a 160 race? You should be proud of yourself. There's nothing to prove. She was right. I need to value my accomplishments. I know I need to move on. Friends, is it essential for one person to fail in life? Is it really necessary for us to lose a battle in order for us to find new ways of winning a war? In my experience, I may have lost something that I think valuable to me but I have also learned its lessons. And whether you're a student, a worker, a businessman, a musician, an athlete, or anyone who is in pursuit to a certain goal, I believe that everyone fails once, twice, or maybe a hundred times in their life. And there are lessons and these lessons need to be embedded in our hearts, in our mind, in order for us to succeed. There is a man named Thomas Alva Edison, an inventor who invested so much time, money, effort, blood, sweat, until he invented the first light bulb that changed people. He once said, I did not fail. I just found ways, 10,000 of them, that it won't work. So as for me, I can still fail 9,998 times, right? But of course, I will not allow that to happen to me because I have noted three valuable importance of failure that will guide me to eventually succeed. And it's just as easy as a, B, and C. The first one is letter A. You learn acceptance. Don't you think that you're so hard on yourself sometimes? You don't have to be. Instead, you should be happy on where you were, on your accomplishments, on your strengths, but at the same time, respect your limitations and weaknesses. You can pause for a while, think, and evaluate. If you will have an opportunity to improve your skills and weaknesses. Or probably just think of something that you think more productive. The next one is letter B. You become brand new. When you fail, don't you feel relieved that that Herculean task that you just did was over? You can whine about it all day, 
or breathe, move on. And anything that you do next, that would be a new thing. Clean slate, second chance. As I sign up for my next Ironman, I think I'm rejuvenated, rebooted. I'm now running, biking. I even swam today. And if you fail in the class, it's OK. It happened to me once, more than once. Probably the most devastating experiences that I had during my university days. But every time I got swamped in the mud, I just roll my sleeve and say, huh, let's do it again. Trying a new career after a stressful one, I'm sure that you could discover something else and redefine your character. Last one is letter C. You gain courage. You've been there, done that. Anything that you try would be easier. The fear and the anxiety that you previously had that stopped you from unleashing your full potential will no longer be in your system because you know the outcome of your actions. While you see people whining like a baby, you'll be probably laughing and shrugging because you know the pain. And anything that cannot kill will make you stronger. Ladies and gentlemen, you failed, tried something, did not succeed, thought about A, B, C, acceptance, becoming brand new, gaining courage, but still didn't work? Oh my. Don't worry, because there are lots of letters in the alphabet that will ponder the value of failure. Winning is great. It's amazing. But if you are trying to do something in life, I heard that the secret can also be about learning how to lose. Not all the people can go undefeated, but if you are the person who picks up after a crushing defeat and go on to win again, someday, someday, you will become a champion. Thank you very much and have a great day.